Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Pacer Performance High 5 Truck Cab Light Kit. Now, if you're looking at these, you're probably wanting to either replace or add some lights to the top of your cab on your truck. These are going to be styled after the 1999 through 2002 Dodge factory roof lights, but you don't necessarily have to put them on a Dodge. They are a universal fit, and they give us that big rig look, also help us to be more visible to other drivers, especially during inclement weather, if we're going through a snowstorm, foggy areas, a lot of rain, or anything like that. So it just helps to make our truck a little bit more illuminated and a little easier to spot as we're coming down the road. Now the nice thing about this kit is that it does have the smoke lens over the light so it gives that kind of blacked out, murdered out look for our truck. So if that's what you're going for, this is going to be a great option for you. It also comes with everything you need to get this installed, including the little sockets that our lights are actually going to fit into, the wiring, hardware and a switch so we can bypass our factory wiring and I'm gonna get one of these set up to go it does come with the amber LED or excuse me amber bulbs to get this installed now there is a kit that has LEDs with it and I would honestly suggest getting that kit since LEDs are typically gonna last longer and uh, be a little bit brighter than your incandescent bulbs that kit's available here at eTrailer.com. It's going to be part number PP20-244S. And it's exactly the same thing. It just has the additional LED bulbs. So if that's something that you're into, I would highly suggest checking it out. But everything else about the kit is going to be the same. So I'm just going to plug this in so you can see what it looks like. My power wire is going to the red wire. Ground goes to black turn the light on and you can see it illuminates there. I'm going to turn the lights out in the studio so you get a better idea of how bright that is. So again, not terribly bright. The idea is not to give us more illumination while we're out on the road. It's just to make us more visible to other drivers. So I only can really light up one at a time. have to use your imagination for the other four, but that's basically what it looks like when it's all lit up. So whenever it comes to installing, you'll want to use one of the quick splice connectors to tie in with that bulk wire. It's just going to run between all five of our lights. And if you have that wiring run into your vehicle, you shouldn't have to worry about any kind of uh, water getting in there and causing any damage. So the quick splices will do a fine job to get you connected. And then we'll also have a fuse to come off the back of our switch. The other end of our bulk wire goes into that switch with those spade connectors. So there's little spades in the back. That's where we connect into that. Of course, if you want to, you can wire this in with your factory lights. It's really up to you there. Um, but if you're putting this on a newer truck, there's a good chance that you could void your warranty by hard splicing into the wiring. So that's why bypassing it with that switch is a nice option and it does come with it. It doesn't have any hardware to get that installed. I've seen other kits that are similar to this where it'll have two little machine screws that just that just slides onto. So you can probably pick those up just about anywhere har any hardware store out there to get that all connected. Screws comes with to mount up our lights proper. Also has some little rubber washers to help protect those from any water coming or seeping in underneath the head of those bolts. If it were me, I'd probably still put a little bit of silicone sealant on the uh, connection point into the cab just to make sure that you're not getting anything coming into the headliner on your vehicle. You just don't want any issues down the road. So you will have to do some drilling if you don't already have uh, light installed on your vehicle that you're not, if you're not replacing anything, you're adding something new. So you do have to make some modifications there. As far as the size of each light, they're all gonna be the same measures about five and five eighths inches long by about three and an eighth inch wide and about one and a half inch tall maybe one and three eighths inch tall the distance between those two mounting holes is about one and three quarter inches apart center to center does have a little foam gasket to help this conform to any roof, whether that's curved or flat. 
meets SAE specifications. The bulb type that this uses is an amber 194 or 194 type bulb. Again, you can switch those out for an LED. You can find a lot of options uh, available here at eTrailer.com or again, just pick up that other kit that I mentioned before. But that's pretty much going to do it for our look at the Pacer Performance Hi5 Truck Cab Light Kit. Hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right kit for you. Thanks for watching.